I've been beekeeping basically my entire life. My dad is a beekeeper and I was born into this. 70% of all major crops depends on honeybee pollination. So this is basically what feeds the world. In the past decade, we are witnessing a phenomenon called colony collapse disorder, known as CCD. And we've seen mortality rates of 40% annually of uh, bee colonies. It's a bunch of factors like globalization, urbanization, monoculture, use of pesticides, parasites and different diseases that really impact the bee's health. The last disruptive thing that happened to beekeeping was the invention of motorized vehicle. And I saw everybody else with, you know, computerized tractors and the cows are now being milked by robots. And it just seemed very weird to me that there's nothing like that for the beekeeping industry. That was the moment where I partnered with, with my co-founders. Uh, they're coming from the technological background. Bira owns today the largest database about bees and pollination worldwide. We use local sensors that we install in beehives and we create smart beehives. We use the sensors in order to collect different types of parameters like sound, temperature, humidity, location and so forth. And we take this data and we run this through our machine learning algorithms and we are able to understand what is the situation of each one of the hives. We bring exactly the right amount of hives that you need to pollinate that specific block or acre. And so with our technology, the bees that we're able to bring in are a lot more efficient in the pollination work. We're in Jude, Illinois in a centennial farm that my great-great-grandmother pioneered and we're over 2,000 acres of corn and soybeans. With the markets like they are nowadays, the challenge is just making a profit. We decided to introduce uh, precision pollination to the farm to increase yield and lower cost. When you can increase your yield, everything all comes together to make more profit on the farm. So soy was genetically modified to not be dependent on bees and research from recent years show that when involving bees in the pollination season of soy, you can actually increase the crop yield. So this is what we've done at Bee Hero. Rabobank helped us in more than one way. They financially backed us, but they're by definition strategic partner. They are very well placed in the farming industry, so their experience and knowledge can help us a lot with our ultimate goal to help the bees and help the farmers feed the world. This is probably the most important uh, process in the food production chain. Their inputs are amazing. Feeding 9 billion people at about 10 years from now is going to be a huge challenge and we need to optimize every single aspect of the way we grow our food. Technology is the key for that and especially the pollination part that we think is so vital for creating food for the world.